About four minutes to go, get a penalty. Let's take some confidence to take the penalty like you did today. Yeah, I mean, I mean like I said, there was four minutes to go and um, I, I knew what I was going to do even before I had the ball in my hand. I thought to myself, I'm going to just chip it down the middle because, you know, the keeper will die. With four minutes to go, he's not going to think that, you know, I'll, I'll be brave enough to just dink it down the middle. So, you know, it was an easy option for me and, you know, luckily it paid off. And, and, you, and you practice penalties all week, I know, at training, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, do you practice that one? Well, yeah, it's, it's a strange one because, I don't know, you, it's one of those ones where you'd think that any player, any professional player, can just dink it down the middle. But it's, you know, it's, I suppose it's a confidence thing. And obviously, I've scored, you know, I was I scored four goals leading up to this, and my confidence is high. So, you know, I think confidence played a big factor into it. Big win today, wasn't it? It's was a tight game. It looked like it was going to end nil nil, and we thought the three points that must be even sweeter than uh, when it's like that, that sort of game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, we've taken six points off them now throughout the season. So, you know, that's brilliant for a team like Peterborough, who, you know, are, are such a strong team and a big club. For us to uh, take six points off them, um, you know, this season's, you know, brilliant for the club and it shows how far this club's gone. And obviously, we scored a goal and a clean sheet again. I mean, I know the managers and, and just spoken to Guy Whittingham, they love that as well. But the boys are the, black, the back five really solid today, weren't they? Yeah, of course. I mean, as a striker, sort of, I've got every confidence in, like you said, the back five. Like, Paul Jones in goal is brilliant. He's, his shot stopping is unbelievable. And you've got the two centre backs in Carl and Walsh. They're just, it's just, it's just impossible to break down, even in training. Like, when I'm up against them, it's, you know, I find it really, really tough. And, it, you know, it's tough for anyone to sort of, you know, play against them because they're such good defenders and obviously with Walshy going away with the 21s now you know he's going to be a big miss for Tuesday night. What was it like playing at the home again? Well your home again at the moment. Yeah nice no, it was good I got, a, I got a good reception which was you know I just want to say thanks to the fans for that but you know it was, you know, it was, it was good to be back finally and obviously I signed at the start of January and made my home debut in March so it was a bit of a strange one but you know, it's just just pleasing to be back and playing and scoring again. Thirty nine goals in forty games here. It's not a bad record, is it? Yeah, I, I saw it on Twitter the other day, and you know, it's quite pleasing, really. So, uh, my shirt was on the other side of the dressing room um, when I first walked in today, and I said to the kit man, Mark, I said, oh, "Can I move it? Because I've obviously scored this amount there." And, you know, today, that's your lucky space. It is. Yeah, it seems to be. And obviously, today I got my wish and scored the goal. Up to 13th now, have a real le leap up the table and we can climb another place with a good result on uh, Tuesday night. But Stevenage, I mean, they won today again at Bradford, so it's not going to be easy, is it? No, of course. Obviously, I'm sure the backroom staff and the manager and Guy will, you know, do the research on Stevenage. And, you know, we know they're going to be a big, strong team. You know, I've, I've played against them this season at Stevenage for, for Rotherham and, you know, they are a good team. And um, yeah, But if we can play anything like we did today with, you know, with hard work and enthusiasm, we'll be a match for anyone.